Double Marksman Channel. I'm David, your guide to the pursuit of practical pistol proficiency. And today we are talking about resetting the trigger and trigger prep. So I've recently switched to a double action gun and it has done nothing but double down on the importance of the trigger prep when swinging the gun onto target. And what I'm talking about is going to be applicable in really two situations. The first is coming out of the holster and the second is transitioning onto a target, specifically a low probability target like a partial. So in the intro, you saw me drawing to a C zone steel then transitioning onto a low probability target which was about half of the A zone available at about 10 yards. And my technique for both of those targets was very similar. When coming from the holster, I get on the gun, I bring it up, and as I reach full extension, you can see my hammer is at about half cock. So all that's left is for me to confirm my dot and let the hammer fall. That lasts about 10% of the trigger pull. So as I present the gun, I am prepping the trigger, and once I see what I want to see, I can send it and know that I'm going to have an acceptable hit. And similarly, I focus on, after that hit goes, on resetting the trigger in recoil as much as I can. So pow! Gun cycles, and by the time the slide's in battery, I want to try and race it to get my finger off the trigger, back on the trigger, and held on the reset. And this is important because as the shot breaks, I want to be on that next shot ready to go so by the time I see the dot on the next target I can send it again. In practical shooting we always talk about doing two things at once so while the gun is recoiling if you can reset your trigger and while you're swinging in transition if you can prep your trigger for the next shot and the reason that's important on partials or swinging onto steel targets is because if all you have to do is just that last 10 percent of the trigger pull by the time the dot gets to the target or your sights as it were then you're much more likely to go one for one on that shot. And nothing is faster when you're shooting a USPSA match than sending only the required number of rounds at a specific target. So you can break this down into two dry fire exercises because this is the Rona and ammo is hard to come by and hard to replace. So the first is very simple. It's just gonna be reacting to a beep and bringing it up to a target and getting a sight picture with the hammer back if you're shooting a striker gun, you can still do this exercise. Just prep the trigger, take all the slack out of it and get it to the wall so that by the time you're at full extension, you're ready to shoot. And that's gonna be the first drill. The next drill, and if you're shooting a hammer fired gun for this next drill, you can actually keep this back and use like a snap cap or whatever if you wanna simulate it. But starting with your finger all the way out of the trigger, aimed at a target, swing onto the next target and prep the trigger for the next shot. If you want, you can race it so that you can break it as soon as the sights arrive to the scoring zone that you're aiming at. So that's all it is, is just swinging onto it, just leading with your eyes and prepping the trigger as you get to the target. This sounds really rudimentary and it is, but all of shooting is fundamentals. And if you can get your trigger prepped by the time the sight is on the next target, you're gonna be ready to shoot sooner. And sooner is the name of the game if you wanna be faster. And finally, I'll close with if you haven't gone to the range and actually tried to reset your trigger in recoil. Like your whole goal is to send a shot, but get back on the trigger as fast as you can so that by the time the sight comes back to the target, you're ready to shoot again. You'll see that it speeds you up dramatically without eroding your precision. So if you want to split faster, if you want to transition faster with more precision, maybe try and do that drill. You don't have to spend a phenomenal amount of ammo to start to understand how you need to move your finger off the trigger but you can do that in live fire and it's going to help speed you up. I appreciate you guys watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Over on Patreon, that's where I keep my performance blog. If you want to get better at shooting, there's going to be a lot of articles that I write there that talk about my own development as a shooter and how it could potentially apply to you. So check that out for a buck a month. Gets you three to five posts per week. As always, I appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Take care, guys.